This is Justin and I, and it looks like before the Broncos game. What do you think is going on in that picture? Oh, man. What up, Bolt fam? Chase Daniel here, and we're back with another episode of Takeout, brought to you by the Southern California BMW Centers. And today, we have a great guest for you. He's having a monster year. It's linebacker Kaiser White. Today, I'm driving the powerful new BMW M240i X-Drive Coupe. It's got 19-inch wheels, an M Sport brakes, an integrated rear spoiler, and an aerodynamic kit, all standard. Experience one for yourself at a Southern California BMW Center today. Come join us and check out the show. All right, guys, episode five of Takeout. Uh, and I have none other than Kaiser White with us today. Appreciate oh you being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. absolutely. We uh, want to first start off by this is the second time we've had this, and it's Descanso's. So tell Fine. me what you ordered there and why Descanso's. Yeah, so man, Descanso's is pretty much. I get the chicken quesadillas, best quesadillas I ever had. I remember my rookie year, the older guys used to order it for us all the time. So first time I had it ever since then, I always try to get it. That's awesome. Probably like once a week or something like that. I mean, you're, the, you're the second guest. Obviously, Justin Jones had it. So I, I haven't had it yet. So yeah, it's fine. I guess I need that. Cool. Well, let me see what I... Nothing. Again, they've Come yet on, to man. feed me on this. Come on, man. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm good. I just ate. 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 But all right. This guy's here. If I had to ask you to say one word to describe your year, what would it be and why? One word to describe the year that I'm having, it's tough to just say one word, man, but the way I could describe it, I feel like it's just perfect timing, man. Yeah. You know, coming in my rookie year, I was playing pretty good the first three games, then my knee kind of yep. got in the way, and then I was kind of battling year two, year three. Last year, you know, with Drew going down, I kind of got my opportunity to play, and then coming into this year, fight for the starting job. Yeah. Just feel like everything is happening at the right time, man. Yes. So perfect, perfect time would be some. I would, I would say dominant. I like that. I would say dominant. I mean, I remember going up against you in camp a lot and it was just like, you couldn't get nothing on this guy. Like you just <laughs> seem to be everywhere. Appreciate and it's, you, it's really carried over to the year that you're having. And it's, obviously you. it's a monster year, but where do you think you've improved the most as a player from your first couple of years in the uh, league? Mentally, man, when I first came in, I played safety in college. I went, you played safety in college? Yeah, I played safety in college. I went to Juco as a corner. No wonder the ball skills yeah, are so yeah. good. That I, makes I came, sense. I came to uh, my junior college as a corner. They moved me to safety, and that's all I played in college. I didn't know nothing about linebacker playing at the second level, calling plays, things yeah. like that. So when I got to the NFL, it, it was a challenge for me mentally as far as yeah. just being able to get everybody lined up, communicating. That's something I really had to work on. So I feel like that's where I took the biggest leap, just mentally. For that's sure. awesome. Yeah. That is so cool. All right, if you could steal one skill set, from another player on this team, what would it be and why? One skill set. One skill set from anyone on the team, who would it be and why? Mm. Oh, Joey Bosa, his uh, pass rush. Oh. That's something I, that's a part of my game I really want to get better at. He just make it look so effortless out there. So it that's is definitely something I yeah. definitely want to steal from him. It's impressive for yeah. sure. So you can go ahead and eat if you want. You're oh no, nah, I'm gonna right. get it. I'm gonna dig cool. it. Trust me. Obviously, as we just mentioned, you're a former safety. Who would have more success in a position switch? You at safety or Derwin down at linebacker? Now Derwin plays linebacker a little bit. Yeah. But like I feel like you lose 10 LBs, you could be out there rolling with the with the boys back yeah, there. Yeah, that's at tough because you know Derwin, he's a great player. I yeah. feel like you could put him at the end, he's gonna make something happen. Yes. But uh yes. I'm a, I'm a better myself. I'm there always better myself, and I'm a former safety too. So I feel like I could be in the box and make I love plays it. for sure. I love it. How how have you like being in uh, Coach Daly's defense. I know oh, there's I a lot it, of stuff going on, like love you said, it. the mental aspect for of sure. it. But it feels it. like he just for, sort of frees up you guys and lets you go play. Yeah, man, I, that's his biggest thing. Just go out there, play free. And I feel like when you think it too much, you kind of handicap yourself. So playing in this system, man, just being able to float around and just go see the ball and go get the ball is great. All right, last question, and then we'll get into some games. We'll play superlatives, and I got <laughs> five or six pictures to show you. Let's do it. So you came from a football family. Both your brothers played in the NFL, which I didn't know until I just read that. That's yeah. crazy. You didn't know Kevin was my brother? I mean, oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did. 
Oh my god. That's my big brother, man. That's crazy. What was backyard football like in the White household? Man, it was crazy. So I'm one of seven, but uh, the younger three boys. You're one of seven? Yeah, I'm one of seven. I got a sister. She played basketball out of Auburn. Well, I come from a real wow. athletic family, not just even my intermediate family. Yeah. Cousins who wrestle, play football. Where we used to live out in downtown PA, we had this big parking lot, pretty much just rock like. So we used to just be out there playing football, tackling on the concrete. Just, <laughs> on the concrete? Yeah, just rushed. And, uh, oh my gosh. That was every day for us. We that's out there in the parking crazy. lot throwing the football around, that's doing things amazing. like that. Yeah. Oh man, that's awesome. All right, so now we're gonna play. Yo, you gotta try one of these, bro. Oh man. I'm telling you. It looks so good. I, I, I literally just ate, but it's unfortunate. I'm missing out, bro. All right, so. Get your whiteboard out, and what we're gonna do, it's called superlatives. We've had some fun with this. Name of the game is, I'm gonna say something. First thing that comes to your mind, write it down. Okay. If we match, we match, it's funny, All whatever. Right. So Let's um, go. I've already had this one, so I know what I'm gonna write, but the number one Brandon Staleyism. So the number one thing he does that like is like every team meeting or like a Staleyism. And I think everyone in America, if you watch the show, you know what I'm gonna write. All right, what do you got? Thumbs yeah, up, there we go. man. That was an easy one. That's mm -hmm. his thing. Especially now that we're all Zoom. Every time, man. Can I get a thumbs up there? Thumbs up on that guy. Can I get a thumbs up on that man? Uh, Just making sure you locked in. That's he's it. making sure you're listening to yeah. him. Yeah. So, thumbs up. All right, so we're one for one. Pretty good. Who on the team is most likely to lose their playbook? Which uh, everything's really all virtual now, so who will lose their iPad? Um, I got to go defense yep, on that. of course. All right, who you got? I got Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa, that's a good one. And I got Larry Roundtree. That's another good one. Sorry, Larry. For sure. but that's a good one. Man. Oh, that's awesome. Joey. Joey probably didn't even need a play, but yeah. he just rushed the pass. Joey's right? so nonchalant, man. Most likely to lay out their game day outfit the night before. Like you're going to school. Mm. That's a good one. Um, that's tough. Let's see, who dresses? That's a, that's a tough one. I know. I went with a guy who always dresses swaggy, so. I'm gonna go with a guy who think they swaggy, but. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna love go with my guy, Drew, man. Drew? I can see oh Drew my doing gosh. something I like that. I can totally see that. I can that. see him doing something like that. I can see Who you got over there? I got chicken, chicken parm. parm. Okay. And he's always in the suit. For with sure. The, you know, I feel like he's for always sure. super fresh, but hey, Drew I'm is gonna go with Drew. Me. For sure. I feel like his wife might actually set out his clothes the night before. Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, here's a good one. I actually know. All right. Most likely to have a game day fit you would never wear. I know exactly who, because he's game he's got some fit, style that maybe wear. just doesn't fit well with me. I got a good one here. Oh, I think he's swaggy though, but I, it's just okay. a, it's just a different type of swag. That okay. I, I like it. I like it. All right. Who, who you got? I got Palmer. JP. Okay. Yeah. I JP's am. JP sort of swaggy. He's swaggy. Yeah. He's swaggy. It's, it's but a it's like different. a different swag. Yeah. I agree. And I got JG Jalen Guyton because yeah, sure. he almost dresses like goth. Yeah. To me, he's almost. Well, he put it together. Though. He puts it it's together a, though. Yeah, it's his own little style. And I probably wouldn't wear it. He just got a different type I, of swag. I mean, it's cool. He pull it. He be pulling he it, it off, off though. though. We got a couple more, and we'll get you out. We're done with this game. I'm gonna show you some pictures. We'll laugh. Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> so. I can't believe you guys put this picture in there. All right, so this is Justin and I, and it looks like before the Broncos game. What do you think is going on in that picture? Oh, man. <laughs> Justin probably. <laughs> what do you think said? Justin's thinking? Probably just made an incredible uh, throw to somebody <laughs> and you praising him. <laughs> praising him. I think I'm saying, I wish I was as tall as you. <laughs> <laughs> on my tippy toes and I still don't even come up to us. That's a good one. All right, so, oh. Here you go, me and Justin, Chandler, and Coach Shane Day. Here, I have no idea what I'm thinking. What What would you say? It's in it a gotta be room. after what, a big win or something like that? I think it was. Yeah, that's epic, man. Your face says it all, bro. Yeah. Intense, maybe? What Intense. game is that after? I think this might, this is a home game. You know what, I think this might have been after the Browns game. Mm. After that crazy epic comeback. Win. Epic, epic win. win. All right, here, all right, you're a dog. This is you. What is going on in your head right there? Philly. Oh, okay. All I right. got about 50 family and friends in the stadium, so, hey. you know, making a big play, just trying to flex and let Get it be known. Hyped. I'm Get there, that's hyped. it. I love it. All right, this is actually hilarious. This is from this last game, and I saw it, and it looks like, okay, it's Derwin and Joey, <laughs> and it looks like they're holding hands. Oh, man. And both have, like, weird, scared looks on their faces. <laughs> I have no idea. This is right before the tunnel. Yeah, they probably talking about what that need to be done during the game, and... I don't know, man. Probably saying, I love you guys. Right. I love you so much. <laughs> Joey probably talking about something out the ordinary. Speaking of Joey. Praise the sun. <laughs> it's mic'd up. Yeah. That was hilarious. Ah! Praise the sun. <laughs> that was a sack. 
Oh, that'll sound good on the mic up. Joey, something else, man. Well, cool, man. Well, hey, listen, I appreciate you joining us. I appreciate Episode you having five me, of man. Takeout. For sure. See you guys next time. This is dope, man. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.